Hey guys, in today's winter tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw winter composition with deer in paper cutout style in Adobe Illustrator. Paper cutout style is a very popular style pretty much time and it looks very, very stylish. And if you're interested to try it, you need to try it. It's really cool style and uh, you can create a lot of designs in that style and for example to sell them on stocks, for example Adobe stock, Shutterstock, as you like. Now we are on free pick and this is my example for today's tutorial i like this design very very much and i took idea from that design and add some of my uh, color ideas and um, i took uh, other photo of deer but the main idea i took from that design you can for example uh, take another animal or an another elements for that uh, tutorial but you can uh, create as well design with me okay now let's start to draw our winter paper cutout composition and guys, before we start our tutorial, I want to invite you to my course Commercial Portfolio Step Up if you are ready to work as a graphic designer and you want to create your first commercial portfolio and to understand how to earn money as a graphic designer, you can come to my course. But I want to say that my course not for beginners. If you are a beginner, you need to go to that video that video five steps in graphic design plus free plan you need at first go to my free plan it's on youtube there you will find 30 free tutorials and you will know adobe illustrator and after that plan you can go to my course and to create your first commercial portfolio and uh, to know how to make money as a graphic designer. I have two levels on my course, only me. It's uh, my course without my support. You can come to my course uh, uh, when uh, you feel ready. For example, today, tomorrow or next month. And I have level two with my personal support and the next course with my personal support uh, will be on uh, march 1st uh, 2024 but if you feel that you can study by yourself you can go to my course without my support any day just go here press buy now and my course and me will be with you. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to download an original vector file with my colors and design, you can go to my Patreon page. The, li the link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take red color and uh, ellipse tool, create the ellipse. Okay, now go to object, path, offset path and minus 100. Preview, it's too much. Let's take 80. Okay, it's great. And let's take this color, object, path, offset path. Okay. And now that color. Okay, the ellipses are ready. Uh, now select, 
and make them a little bigger. Don't forget to hold shift to uh, save proportions. Um, now copy and paste green ellipse. Now select the copy of the green ellipse and red ellipse. Go to Pathfinder and exclude. Okay, red color. And now we have this ring. Okay. Uh, now copy and paste dark green ellipse. Select the copy of dark green ellipse and green ellipse. And again Pathfinder exclude. And again here green color. And the same we have here the ring. Okay. Now let's take this color and rectangle tool, create the rectangle like that. Now uh, change fill to stroke. Now take ellipse tool with the same color and create ellipse a little smaller then red one. Okay, like that. Select uh, the rectangle and ellipse, change stroke to fill and Pathfinder exclude. Now red color and create one more red rectangle and send to back. Okay. Now let's take uh, the color like background and star tool and create the star here. Direct section tool and hold all corners to round corners. Let's select other color to see the star and let's make composition with stars. You can make like me or create your own composition. Like this. Select all stars and take background color. Select background and stars and Pathfinder. Exclude. Okay. Now select uh, this shape object, stylize, um, drop shadow. And here let's write these options 25, 25 and here 7 or let's better 10. Let's uh, take maybe this color. You can choose your own color of shadow. Okay. I think it's pretty good. You can take something more darker. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's uh, select red ellipse, red ring effect, stylize, drop shadow, the same options. Okay. Now you need to select background and red ring and bring to front like that. And the same, uh, let's select green, red and a background and bring to front. Select green, object, effect, uh, effect, stylus, um, drop shadow and the same options. Okay. Uh, for example, you can change the color of the shadow here, select drop shadow here and let's select here green uh, color. OK. It's ready. <clears throat> now let's uh, select this green 
and uh, copy and paste it. Delete uh, shadow effect. Again, copy and paste it. Now we have two copies of the ring. One of the copies move a little down. Select both copies. Pathfinder. A minus front. Okay. And now here let's take a little lighter. Object, expand, OK. Now make it smaller. Move here. Bring that shape to front. OK. Now select that color. Um, Let's add gradient. Let's select liner gradient, this color here, and that one in that place. Play with gradient, with gradient two. Select uh, that shape and take the same liner gradient. Play with the gradient. Okay, now let's uh, take ellipse tool and create some snowflakes. Okay, now let's select all snowflakes and um, let's group them. Go to effect stylize drop shadow and play with options here let it be here seven here seven and here seven or you can take here maybe five and Let's play with color of the shadow and here 5 and here 5. OK. And now let's add mm, some stars. Take this color and star tool. The first star, 
direct selection tool, round corners, rotate, make copy, move here, and make copy, move here. Okay, like that. Now select all stars, FX, stylize, drop shadow. Uh, I'll let it be here. Seven. And here let it be ten. And the same here, ten. Okay. Maybe better eight here and let's take some lighter color for the shadow okay uh, now select the red one and this one and the deer and bring to front okay it's great and now let's uh, add uh, texture let's take dark color black color and rectangle tool create a rectangle effect effect gallery grain and these options okay opacity soft light And let's let's change transparency to uh, 50 or 35 or 25 as you like it more okay let it be 35 and now let's uh, create rectangle like that ctrl a make clipping mask okay guys our design is ready that's all for today, hope you liked my tutorial, if yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about graphic design. Bye bye guys, bye!